What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you in uh, Detroit. I think it's a team deathmatch gameplay, or kill confirmed gameplay, sorry. I go 22 and 12 or something like that. Um, sorry if you hear all that background noise. I can't do anything about the wind and snow uh, hitting my window. And it's pretty loud, so I don't know if you can hear it or not. But anyway, today's topic is High School Stories Episode 27. And this is deciding what I want to do for or when I get older, at least for now. Um, so, I've actually had a lot of different career paths that I wanted to do. Um, my goal is I want to be successful. I want to have a lot of... I want to be somebody that makes at least six digits a year. Maybe maybe upper fives, though. Like I'd, I'd settle for like... Seventy-five to eighty thousand, but I want to be something that will make a hundred thousand dollars. That would be nice because I want to be able to support my parents and support my family. And in case something happens, be like my family could just live off my salary. So <clears throat> anyway, um, today's uh, so anyway, I wanted to be a lot of different things, uh, and it's gonna be a lot. Like I'm gonna go from the beginning. From so when I was little, before I even played organized football. I wanted to play football. I wanted to be a football player. Um, and then I wanted to be a baseball player, and then I realized I sucked at baseball. Uh, oh, I didn't suck. I just was afraid after I got hurt. Um, I'm like, oh, that's a topic for squeaker stories. Um, and then I uh, I wanted to be, what's, what did I want to be? Oh, a, so a soccer player, which I actually could have been because I'm, I'm a pretty good goalie, uh, if I do say so myself. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but, yeah. Um... And then I wanted to, uh, I wanted to be a goalie for a while, and then I joined the firehouse. Uh, and I wanted to either do police off, or be a police officer or a professional firefighter, but they don't make good money. Uh, and then I wanted to be kind of a paramedic or an EMT or something, but I wasn't sure. So now what I want to do is, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take EMT school in the summer because EMT school is only like a four week course and it's only like four hundred dollars so it's not too bad um, and then I'm gonna get go to college and get a, a night shift job at a slow um, slow EMT program so probably my firehouse because my ambulance doesn't really get a lot of calls at night um, and then I could sleep then do my homework there stuff like that and then get to my classes the next day um, and then after I, I, I'm gonna be a nursing major and I want to be a, eventually work my way up to be a nurse practitioner, but I want to be a paramedic first, um, be an RN, stuff like that, and I want to be actually a nurse practitioner in the ER, uh, and I've seen a lot of stuff, so I, I think I have the stomach for it. Uh, my uncle actually offered me, it's, um, he knows somebody who works in the ER who I could shadow, which would be awesome, I think I might do that, um, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, I, I'm really into helping people. I think I think being a nurse practitioner would be my thing. I don't want to be a doctor because I don't want to go to eight, eight years of med school or whatever it is, or six years of med school, or I don't know how long med school is. Another thing I actually considered for a little bit, though, that I didn't even mention was pharmaceutical or, or pharma, pharmacology or whatever. I don't know. Ph being a pharmacist, and that, that makes pretty good money. My uncle's a pharmacist. He's rich. Um... Maybe possibly being a business major, because that's what my sister is. I could go to the same school as my sister, but that's not what I want to do. Business isn't for me. And she goes to a school that's like really known for their business program, so that's pretty good. Um, that's good for her, and she's a business major, but that's not what, that's not my thing. Uh, maybe she always wanted to start a business with me, which is kind of cool, but I, I always joked around. That uh, it, I would be the, she, it, the joke was she'd be the CEO and I'd be the COO, um, but now I guess maybe her business that she starts could be an in-home nursing thing or something. I don't know. Um, I'm kidding. Uh, maybe maybe she will though. She could be the CEO of that because she wouldn't even have to be a nurse for that. And she she actually was talking to me about being an EMT. She might take the classes with me and we might do it together. That would be awesome. Um, but like I said, I want to do something that that'll be successful, and that's my life goal. Like to live in a really nice neighborhood because I live in a really crappy neighborhood now, um, and like be able to send my kids to a private school, uh, and be able to help support them for college. Not fully support them for college, but help them a little bit. Uh, it would be a great thing, and then be able to support my parents too, because um, my parents raised me right and. 
they taught me a lot of different morals and values and that's that's what uh good parents do so they deserve it after they're done being parents after i'm grown i want to put them up either in a new house or maybe have them live with me and they would just do chores around the house for me that would be their way like that would be their uh, no nah, i'm just kidding about that though my, my mom and dad are both really good cooks um and a good thing though would be if i could like put like retire my mom because she works so hard and um I'm, I kind of want to do that, maybe like get her out of work for, um, get her an early retirement because I'll be able to uh, support her and that would be really cool if I could do that. Uh, my dad's already out of work. I mean, he may be able to go back to work after the transplant though, but that's pretty cool. Um, I, I really do just hope that I can support all those things I said. Um, sorry, I don't, my mom's talking in the background actually. She just got home in the middle of this video. But anyway, like I want to be like something like I said I want to be successful I want to have good money and stuff like that I'm gonna go make sure she's okay I'll be right back all right I'm back guys I just helped her bring in some chairs and then took the trash out and helped her with a few things so yeah um anyway what I was saying like uh, I think I'll have a strong enough stomach for the ER um, I don't think I've, I'll see too many bad things or messed up things um, I know a lot of people that love it and I know a lot of people that hate it um, being EMTs, I mean, and being an EMT, you see basically everything you'll see in the ER, so, um, not everything, but you'll see a lot of things you see in the ER, um, there's that strange thing, the odd thing, every once in a while, but, uh, very rarely are you surprised with stuff, that's what I've heard, like, never be surprised, and never think any call is just going to be a normal call, um, because you will be in for a surprise. A prize. I just said surprised, but you will be in for a surprise if you think that every call is going to be a simple call and the same mistake or the same thing, uh, and it's all routine. Um, yeah, there's that, that every once in a while an injured person or a sick person, but you get a lot of like different things. So uh, I, I'm lucky. I know a lot of EMTs, um, so I know what to expect from them from hearing their stories. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm hoping that I stick with this because I think that's this will be my uh, greatest idea yet. Uh, I think it's my greatest idea yet, my greatest potential. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this is been sick crazy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.